Top 25 Field Service Technician Interview Questions and Answers In this video, we will explore the top 25 interview questions commonly encountered by field service technicians. Each question is designed to assess technical skills, problem-solving abilities, and customer service aptitude essential for success in this role. We will also provide insightful answers to help you prepare effectively. Whether you are an experienced technician or just starting your career, this guide aims to enhance your confidence and readiness for the interview process. 1. Can you provide an example of a difficult situation you faced as a field service technician and how you resolved it? In a previous role, I encountered a situation where a crucial piece of machinery broke down during peak operational hours, causing significant downtime. I quickly assessed the issue and determined that the problem was a faulty component that required replacement. Unfortunately, the part was not readily available in the inventory. I contacted multiple suppliers and arranged for an expedited shipment. While waiting, I kept the client informed and provided temporary solutions to minimize their loss. Once the part arrived, I installed it swiftly, tested the machine thoroughly, and ensured everything operated smoothly. The client appreciated my proactive communication and timely resolution. 2. How do you approach diagnosing and troubleshooting a malfunctioning machine on site? When diagnosing a malfunctioning machine on site, I first gather as much information as possible from the client regarding the symptoms they've observed. Next, I perform a visual inspection to look for any obvious issues such as leaks or wear. I then utilize diagnostic tools to run tests and gather error codes. After identifying potential causes, I methodically check each component based on the machine schematic. I prioritize solutions based on the most likely failures while 3. What experience do you have with maintaining and repairing large mechanical or electronic equipment? In my previous role, I worked extensively with large industrial machinery, including CNC machines and automated assembly lines. My responsibilities included routine maintenance, troubleshooting, and conducting repairs on complex systems. I utilized diagnostic tools for identifying faults and often collaborated with engineers to implement effective solutions. I have hands-on experience with both mechanical and electronic components, ensuring optimal performance and compliance with safety standards. This experience has honed my ability to address challenges quickly and efficiently, enhancing equipment reliability in various operational environments. 4. Describe your process for performing preventative maintenance on machinery. Preventative maintenance begins with a thorough inspection schedule tailored to each machine's specifications. I first review the manufacturer's guidelines, which outline key components requiring regular checks. During maintenance, I clean, lubricate, and calibrate parts as needed, ensuring everything operates smoothly. I also document any findings or adjustments made during the process to maintain accurate records. Following this, I perform tests to confirm machinery functionality. Communication with clients about the maintenance performed and any parts needing future attention is crucial to maintaining trust and transparency. 5. How do you prioritize and manage multiple service calls in a single day? When managing multiple service calls, I begin by assessing the urgency and complexity of each situation. I categorize them based on factors such as customer impact, machine downtime, and travel distance. After prioritizing the calls, I create a schedule that maximizes efficiency, allowing me to address high-priority issues first. While on site, I maintain clear communication with customers to set expectations. 6. Can you explain your experience with using diagnostic tools and software in the field? In my experience as a field service technician, I have utilized various diagnostic tools and software to troubleshoot and repair equipment efficiently. For instance, I often use multimeters, oscilloscopes, and specialized software to analyze machine performance. These tools enable me to pinpoint issues quickly, reducing downtime for clients. Familiarity with software like remote monitoring systems has also allowed me to provide real-time insights and preventive measures. This skill set enhances my ability to deliver effective solutions and improves customer satisfaction with timely service. 7. How do you handle situations when the required replacement parts are not immediately available? When faced with a situation where replacement parts are unavailable, I first assess the urgency of the repair. If it's critical, I check for alternative parts that may be compatible or explore temporary fixes to keep the equipment operational. I maintain clear communication with the customer, informing them of the delay and the expected timeline for the parts. If possible, I place an order for expedited shipping and follow up regularly. Additionally, I document the situation for future reference, ensuring a smoother process for similar issues down the line. 8. Describe a time you had to work collaboratively with a team to complete a service project. In a challenging service project, our team faced a tight deadline while upgrading an industrial machine for a client. We divided the tasks based on each member's strengths, ensuring efficient workflow. While I focused on the mechanical components, my colleagues handled electrical and software upgrades. We held brief daily meetings to track progress and address any issues. By fostering open communication and supporting each other, we completed the project ahead of schedule. The client was thrilled with the results, and it strengthened our team's collaboration skills for future projects. 9. 
How do you ensure customer satisfaction during and after a service call? To ensure customer satisfaction during a service call, I prioritize clear communication. I explain the issues I identify, the steps I will take, and address any questions the customer may have. Throughout the process, I maintain a friendly and professional demeanor, assuring them that their concerns are my priority. After completing the service, I follow up with a brief summary of the work done and provide tips for future maintenance. I also encourage feedback, which helps me understand their experience and improve my services. This proactive approach fosters trust and enhances customer relationships. 10. Can you tell me about a time when you had to train a customer on the proper use of equipment? When I was called to service a newly installed industrial machine, I noticed the operators were unsure about its functionalities. After completing the repairs, I took the time to provide a comprehensive training session. I demonstrated the machine's features, including safety protocols, operational procedures, and troubleshooting tips. Additionally, I created a quick reference guide that highlighted key points. After the session, I encouraged questions and ensured they felt confident. The feedback was positive, and they expressed appreciation for the clarity and support provided during the training. 11. What safety protocols do you follow when working on site? When working on site, I adhere strictly to safety protocols such as conducting a thorough risk assessment before starting any job. I always wear appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE, including gloves, helmets, and safety glasses. Additionally, I ensure that tools and equipment are in good condition and that emergency procedures are clearly understood. I also keep work areas clean and organized to prevent accidents and regularly communicate with clients about potential hazards. Staying vigilant and proactive about safety helps create a secure environment for both myself and the clients. 12. How do you handle an upset or dissatisfied customer? Handling an upset or dissatisfied customer requires patience and active listening. I first ensure the customer feels heard by allowing them to express their concerns without interruption. Acknowledging their feelings helps to de-escalate the situation. I then clarify the issue by asking open-ended questions. Once I understand their perspective, I offer a solution or alternative, emphasizing my commitment to resolving their problem. After addressing the issue, I follow up to ensure their satisfaction, which reinforces trust and demonstrates that I value their business. 13. What steps do you take to document service calls and repairs accurately? Accurate documentation of service calls and repairs is crucial for maintaining reliable records. I start by using a standardized template to capture essential information such as customer details, equipment serial numbers, and the nature of the issue. During the service call, I take detailed notes on the symptoms, diagnostics performed, and solutions implemented. After completing the job, I ensure all data is entered into our service management system promptly. This documentation includes photographs of repairs when applicable, which helps in future reference and provides clarity for both the customer and the company. 14. Describe how you stay updated with the latest technologies relevant to your role. Staying updated with the latest technologies is essential for a field service technician. I regularly attend industry workshops and training sessions to learn about new equipment and tools. Subscribing to relevant trade journals and online forums also helps me keep abreast of emerging trends and best practices. Additionally, I participate in webinars and online courses that focus on new technologies and software used in the field. Networking with other professionals allows me to share insights and learn from their experiences, ensuring I remain knowledgeable and competitive in my role. 15. What do you do if you encounter a problem you don't know how to solve immediately? When facing a problem I'm not familiar with, I first take a moment to analyze the situation and gather as much information as possible about the issue. I refer to manuals, online resources, or troubleshooting guides related to the equipment. If the problem remains unresolved, I reach out to colleagues or technical support for assistance. Documenting the steps I've taken helps in future scenarios. I also communicate with the customer to keep them informed, ensuring they feel valued and understand that I'm working diligently to find a solution. 16. Can you explain a time when you adapted quickly to a new technology or process? During my tenure as a field service technician, I encountered a situation where my company adopted a new mobile diagnostic application. This technology streamlined our service process but required immediate learning. I quickly familiarized myself with its features through tutorials and hands-on practice. On my next service call, I utilized the app to diagnose an issue with a client's equipment efficiently. The app not only expedited the troubleshooting process but also allowed me to provide real-time updates to the client. This experience reinforced my ability to embrace new tools and enhance service delivery. 17. How do you handle tight deadlines or pressure when multiple urgent repairs need attention? When faced with tight deadlines and multiple urgent repairs, I prioritize tasks based on urgency and impact on the client's operations. I assess each situation quickly, determining which repairs could lead to significant downtime if not addressed immediately. Effective communication is key. I keep clients informed about expected timelines and progress. I also leverage my technical expertise to work efficiently, often multitasking when possible and collaborating with team members to share the workload and ensure all issues are addressed promptly.
18. Describe a situation where you identified and fixed a recurring issue across multiple clients. In my previous role, I noticed a pattern of similar malfunctions in hydraulic systems across several clients. I conducted a thorough analysis of the systems and discovered a common issue with a specific valve that frequently failed due to improper installation during initial setups. I collaborated with the clients to implement a standardized installation procedure and provided training to their teams. After these adjustments, we saw a significant decrease in related service calls, enhancing client satisfaction and reducing downtime effectively. 19. How do you assess the success of your repair or maintenance after completing the job? After completing a repair or maintenance task, I assess its success by first conducting a thorough inspection of the equipment to ensure all issues have been resolved. I then perform a series of functional tests to verify that the machinery operates as intended. Gathering feedback from the customer is also critical. I ask them if they notice any improvements or if they have further concerns. Additionally, I document the service details, including any challenges faced and solutions applied, which helps me refine my approach for future jobs. This comprehensive evaluation ensures long-term satisfaction and efficiency. 20. What is your approach to remote troubleshooting or support when off-site? When conducting remote troubleshooting, I start by gathering detailed information from the customer about the issue they're experiencing. This includes asking specific questions about error messages and symptoms. I then guide them through basic troubleshooting steps, such as checking connections or resetting equipment. Utilizing diagnostic software, I can analyze data logs or error codes remotely. Maintaining clear communication is essential, so I ensure that the customer understands each step. If the issue cannot be resolved remotely, I schedule a follow-up visit, ensuring that I have the necessary parts or tools ready. 21. How do you maintain a positive attitude during long or difficult service days? Maintaining a positive attitude during long or challenging service days involves several strategies. First, I focus on the bigger picture and remind myself of the value I bring to customers by solving their issues. I also break down my tasks into manageable segments, celebrating small wins as I complete each one. Staying organized helps reduce stress, and I ensure to take short breaks to recharge mentally and physically. Additionally, I find that engaging with customers positively can uplift my mood, as their appreciation often motivates me even on tough days. 22. What steps do you take to ensure machines you service are safe and meet manufacturer standards? To ensure machines are safe and meet manufacturer standards, I follow a systematic approach. Initially, I review the manufacturer's guidelines and safety protocols before beginning any service. During the inspection, I check for wear and tear, ensuring all components function properly. I also verify that safety features, such as emergency stops and guards, are intact and operational. After completing repairs, I conduct thorough testing to confirm that the machine operates safely. Finally, I document all findings and actions taken, providing clients with a detailed report for future reference. 23. How do you explain complex technical information to customers who have little technical knowledge? When explaining complex technical information, I break it down into simple terms and use analogies relevant to the customer's experience. I avoid jargon and focus on the key points that matter to them, ensuring they understand the implications for their equipment. Visual aids, like diagrams or simple demonstrations, can help clarify concepts. I encourage questions throughout the explanation, making sure to check their understanding. Patience is crucial, as some customers may need more time to grasp the information. This approach fosters trust and empowers them with knowledge about their equipment. 24. Describe a time when you improved a process or procedure in your previous role. In my previous role as a field service technician, I noticed that the time taken for service call follow-ups was impacting customer satisfaction. I proposed a standardized checklist for follow-up procedures that included key points to discuss with customers, such as maintenance tips and service history. This streamlined communication and ensured no critical information was overlooked. As a result, follow-up times decreased significantly, allowing us to address customer concerns more efficiently. The new process not only improved customer satisfaction but also enabled our team to work more cohesively. 25. How do you prepare before heading out for a service call to ensure you have the necessary tools and parts? Before heading out for a service call, I conduct a thorough review of the work order to understand the specific issues reported. I check my inventory of tools and parts related to the equipment I'll be servicing, ensuring I have everything needed for potential repairs. I also prepare a toolkit that includes diagnostic tools and safety equipment. Additionally, I make a checklist of all necessary components and items to bring, which helps avoid any surprises during the service visit. This preparation minimizes downtime and enhances efficiency while on site. In this video, we explored the top 25 field service technician interview questions and provided insightful answers to help you prepare for your next interview. Being well prepared not only boosts your confidence but also increases your chances of landing the job. Remember, understanding the technical requirements and showcasing your problem-solving skills can set you apart from other candidates. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content.
Good luck with your interview preparation.